Yo, what the deal, YouTube? This your man, Frank Dutch, right here. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. And I want to talk to y'all about the master bus, man, and how to use an auxiliary track as a master bus. I was reading the comments, and I noticed that one of the viewers had asked, like, pretty much, how do you record what's going on on your master track? And I got good news, and I got bad news with that. The bad news is you cannot record nothing that's going on on the master track. The good news is... You can use an auxiliary track as a master track, and you can record what's going on on that track. And I'm going to show y'all how to do that. So we got this session right here. Um, pretty much the same session from the previous video. If you haven't watched that, go watch that right now. And then come watch this one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you want to be organized already um, before you even get to this point. But... Um, say like this is the mix. This is obviously like it's it's nothing, no type of processing going on with this. But say like this is the mix right here. I got everything leveled how I want it. Um, I don't want to use plugins because I mixed during the recording process. If any of y'all know what's up with, about, about that, then you know. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, um, say like I don't need to use any processing. The only processing I want to use is on the master bus. So if you look at all of my tracks. I have all of them going through the output um, one and two of my interface. So what I want to do is we're going to get rid of this master track because we don't need that. We're going to create a new um, auxiliary track by hitting uh, shift command in, which will bring up the new tracks dialog box. And then we're going to um, go to stereo and then we're going to go to aux, which we did already and um, we're going to hit create and we're going to label that master alright and we're going to color code that red because like I told you you want to stay organized want to stay organized now that's coming out of one and two now if you look like I said all of the outputs are coming out of one and two so after you color coded and created your auxiliary uh, or your master bus, you want to um, go to one of the tracks and highlight it and go to the last one and highlight that and that'll highlight all of, your, all of the tracks that you in between that you want selected. We're going to highlight everything except for the master bus or select everything except for the master bus. And we are going to hold down shift, option, hold on, shift, option, and we're going to click on the last bus that you have. I, I'm using 23 and 24 because that's what I got it set up for right now. But if once you hold shift and option and do that, that'll set the output to 23 and 24 to all of the tracks that you selected. And since we did that, we're going to go to our input or the aux that we made. And we're going to go to that same 23 and 24. And now everything that's coming out of those tracks is going through that aux channel. Now, so you like, hey, I came to this video to find out how to record things that's going on my master bus. I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna treat this reverb as the final mix. As like, just I'm gonna just use this reverb so y'all can hear what's going on. So you hear that, that's obviously flooded with reverb, right? So now what I'm going to do is, I want to record that. So let me set up uh, my print track. That's what they call it. It's called a print track. And we're going to name that print track. So once you've done that, you want to take your output track from the auxiliary that you made and go to another empty one. I'm going to use 21 and 22. And you're going to assign that to the input of your um, your track that, you, that you're going to be printing to. And you can color code that if you want to. You know, I would. Um, I'm going to do it right now, as a matter of fact. I would normally do it. I'm kind of just showing y'all like a brief thing of how to do this, how to record from your master bus. So once you got that set up, you arm it to record, and you hit record. And 
as you can see right here, it's recorded. I'm gonna mess with the reverb. So now, say like that's the whole track right there. I'm going to solo that. And that's playing directly from the print track. And you see why I did the reverb change. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Say that's your whole song right there. Once you get that squared away, you will go over here to your clip list. You will click this little um, this little arrow down here, and you will right click on that clip that you that you have highlighted over here. Now, if it if it just so happened to not be highlighted, it's only because you got another clip selected. So go down to your print track, select that clip, and Go to export clips as files. You can set it as an MP3. Choose where you want to put it. Let's set it to um, the desktop. And um, you can also rename it as well. I can show y'all that right quick. Here we go. Right. Well, here's the, a way to tag the MP3. But let's just hit OK. Um, but you can also actually rename the actual file by right clicking on the track I mean right clicking on the clip and hit rename and name it whatever you want we're gonna name it test and as you can see right here the clip file changed to test so yeah that's pretty much how you do it man don't forget to like share comment subscribe shout out to that viewer for um, asking about this so I can show y'all how to do it hopefully it wasn't too complicated there's other ways to do this as well too like but this is like one of the um one of the ways that people do the most you know what i mean like this that print the track method like that's pretty much how you do it so yeah it's your man frank dutch man i'm out of here peace mm -hmm.